Hello you guys, we are back with yet another terrible Tinder experience. Yes, I know it's Tinder. <laughs> uh, maybe after I've made three or four of these videos, if I make more of these videos, I will finally also understand that this is just not the right place for me. Not that I know what is the right place for me when it comes to meeting other men. <sighs> As I mentioned a long time ago before, it was harder coming out as conservative being a gay person or a minority in general because the left thinks it has right over all of us who are minorities. Um, heaven forbid there be any, you know, they can celebrate every color under the rainbow and, and every kind of fetish, but heaven forbid you have a different way of thinking. That is one thing that the left absolutely does not celebrate. I mean, it is complete conformity to their ideologies or you're out. Uh, yeah, but this video, I'm going to once again read an interaction that just probably like an hour ago ended when things turned woke from his side and me being pushing back on it and also since there's been people who asked i think this conversation is going to be a little bit a lot a bit uh uncomfortable maybe for some people to hear um it's gonna include parts of why I didn't ever make a gay travel guide part three Saudi Arabia with kind of just approaching the tip of the iceberg and part of the reason why I never made that video um yeah anyway so let's get started I'm gonna do the same thing that I did in the other video so if it's something that he typed, I will just read it, and if it's something I typed, I'll go like this, and you guys know it's something I said. Okay. Hi. Hello. Bleep, because I don't want to say his name. How are you doing? I think okay. You? You think? Seems like not okay. Just tired, tired this week. You? I am tired too. A lot of lab work. But I am excited for the long weekend. Lab work? You're a pharmacist? I am a chemist, doing my PhD. What about you? I just moved back from South America, and now I'm a loser who lives in my parents' basement. Laugh emoji, laugh emoji, laugh emoji. Ha, 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 ha. It's also sometimes good. Yes, but bad for dating. Laugh emoji. Ha, ha, ha. We can meet at my place. I like these actors. Wait. What? Ha 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 ha. That message was for my friend, Natalia, actually, who might watch this. <laughs> she had recommended that I watch um, this movie. I forgot the name of it. It was just like two days ago or a day ago. Well, anyway, she just recommended me a movie. And I was going to say something cute like, are you asking me on a date? Smiley face, smiley face, smiley face. Well, if you like, I hope it will not be a sex date. Oh, you think I'm too ugly for sex? Ha ha ha, you seem very negative. Laughing face. Of course, I'm German. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha, that's true. Mashallah, but today has been nice. I saw the cutest squirrel in a cherry tree. Happy face, happy face, happy face. Ah, cool. Well, I will see my boss in five minutes for a meeting, and he is, in, is not cute at all. Oh, then do not invite him over to your apartment. Um, laughing face. Well, if he can give me my PhD degree by coming to my apartment, I will not decline the offer. Laughing face, laughing face. Voila! Shocked face. But I do the same. Ha 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 ha. Yes, inflation is affecting people, and I want to get a doctor title. Well, wink at him. See how he reacts. 
He has two daughters and a son. Laughing fat face. Laughing face. So negative of you. Laughing face, laughing face, laughing face. Ha 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 ha. Well, he can come to my place. I am ready. Show him your hairy chest. You'll have a PhD right away. Wink. My boss has Armenish background, so he is very is way more hairy than me. Laughing face, laughing face. Maybe he likes German twinks. Hmm, better question would be, do you like German twinks? Not sure why he thinks I'm a twink, because I've been a twink in 15 years. <laughs> yes, I do. Best day ever! Exclamation mark. Why? Laughing face, laughing face. All good things happening today. What happened? Saw a cute squirrel, drank, drink good coffee, when bleep is, is saying nice things, happy face, happy face. Ha ha ha, what's your name by the way? Market, Marcus. Nice to meet you. So you have been to Middle East, at least can see from your pics. I have been to the Middle East and lived there for four years. Maybe more depending what countries you consider the Middle East. Were you in Iran? Yes, and I love, love, love Iran. Top five co favorite countries for me. Ah, cool. And why Middle East? Normally German guys go there because of fetish of having hairy dom guys. This comment is kind of important because of what comes later because he now is already kind of showing how men in the Middle East think of white people and white men in general. I mean, Harry Dom Guy is pretty sexy, ha ha ha, but I have lived in every part of, of the world except Australia, which is next on the list. Ah, rich guy. No, but very blessed. Have you been to Pakistan? No, furthest I got was Afghanistan. Why not Pakistan? Probably bad curry smell. Laughing face, laughing face. Um, curry smells amazing. My number one priority for visiting Middle East right now would be Yemen, if possible. Great! I cannot travel to these countries un until I will get my German pass. Laughing face. Which passport do you have? Pakistani. The worst in the world. Yes, difficult. Smiling face, smiling face. How are you getting a German passport? By marrying a German guy. Laughing face, laughing face, laughing face. Congratulations. If not, then I can marry Olaf Scholz. Laughing face. Okay, this is kind of embarrassing. This is actually very embarrassing. <laughs> this is super embarrassing on my part. I don't know who that is. Uh, I don't know who that is. I don't know why, but for some reason, I, I is like in that moment, I had a complete brain fart, and I thought he was talking about his boss. Which now look, think I was like, well, Olaf Scholz, who is that? Is it your boss? Which makes no sense because he said his boss was Armenian. But yeah, super big brain fart, very embarrassing. Well, you have a German passport, so you don't need to know. Laughing face, you are safe. Oh, uh, Bundeskanzler, <laughs> I'm so stupid. Um, no, you are not. Laughing, laughing, laughing. I still live in Malkin times. Mama's boy. Try Olaf, daddy. Um, or bleep, daddy. Wink, wink. Ha ha ha, sure. Not a real daddy, but yes, kind of works. Why didn't you list Pakistan as a country you've been to? And now is when it, now is when it goes off, okay? For those of you guys who are still around. Um... Ha ha ha, I wish I could. Question mark, question mark. I don't get it. If this world will become less racist, then I will put my own flag one day. You think Germans are racist? I said world. Hmm. In Europe, I think if, oops, I think if anything, the opposite is true. People preferred foreigners to locals. Even most foreigners prefer foreigners. And if you, sorry, as a German person, 
German gay person, let me tell you, Germans love, love foreigners. Foreign, like, I would say Germany, in Germany, if you can get yourself a black husband or a black wife, you are literally part of the elite. Like, it is... It can, I would almost say maybe it could, like, you could say maybe to some degree it could be a little bit seen as odd or fetishizing because a lot of Germans say this really, really love black men and black women. Like, it's, a, it's really a thing here. But not even that. Like, we, like, just foreigners in general, Asians, Hispanics, it's just something, it's really, Germans, I'm sorry, Germans are not racist. That is what, like, they, I mean, like, of course, there's gonna, you're gonna find exceptions, maybe some of the super old people or whatever, but the younger generation of Germans are not racist. That is just, it's just not a thing. Um, in Germany, I would even say it's so bad that a lot of the foreigners that live here won't even date German men because it's, I do think a lot of them literally almost feel fetishized. That's how much there is a preference for foreigners in this country. Um, anyway, then he writes, White prefers white, my dear. Smiley face. No, I don't think that's true anymore. I am here, guy with color, so I know the practical reality. I face it daily, at workplace, in the city, on dating apps. I don't agree. This is not the way people in Western world think anymore. Maybe some have problem with Muslim, but not race. Which, again, if you live in Europe, yes, I would say um, a lot of people... I don't know, a lot... Yeah, it is something that some people are starting to talk about just because we do have, we did, especially during the immigration crisis around 2015, 2016, we had a lot of like Syrians and Afghan, Afghan, Afghanis, Afghan people um, migrate to this part of the world and also a lot of Arab people from Morocco, Tunisia. There's just a lot coming in. And I do think a lot of people are maybe more so talking now about what that means in terms of these traditionally Christian countries now having such an influx of Muslims. That I would say, that I would say is maybe a legitimate talking point in, in Europe. But, like, the whole racist thing, I'm just like, no. Okay, so then he said, No one has problem with Muslims. Who said so? People have problem with my curry face. And I wrote, so ein Quatsch. Which just in German, in, in English, would mean something like, don't be ridiculous. Then he, okay, then he says, yup, laughing face, laughing face. Now you are the one who is negative. I grew up here and... I grew up here and these people. I don't know anyone who is racist. I think some Germans have general concerns about the future of Germany with the high amount of immigration, but I think it is unfair to take, an, uh, take a legitimate question and just slap the term racism on it. What the, what the F? Why should I do that? I am facing it, man. How can you say that? Why should I tell a lie? Get out of your white privilege and see the world. People are really suffering. Have you lived in Saudi or United Emirates or pretty much anywhere in the Middle East? Do you know how Pakistanis are treated in those parts of the world? They are worth less than dogs. And I'm sorry, you guys, but this is true. In places like Saudi, Emirates, Qatar, Bahrain, um, Oman, all of these countries... There is a large population of Pakistanis, Afghanis, Indians, people from Sudan, Ethiopians. They bring in a lot of people. And it is, it really is, it is modern day slavery. They think of these people as less than dogs. I mean, they take their passports away. They stick them into like these group homes where it's like seven or eight people living in one room that is just falling apart and gross. 
They pay them by food rations. I mean, these people are, like, they're really treated like absolute scum. I mean, one of the big things during the whole, what is it called? Football, FIFA, FIFA, whatever that thing is called, where all the football people were playing. You know, everybody was all up in arms about the whole gay stuff. And I was like, I couldn't care less about the fact that these countries don't, uh, like, openly support gay people or support gay people in general. I was like, and the fact that these stadiums will, were built by slave labor and who knows how many people died having to build these these stadiums under the wrong conditions without any kind of health insurance, nothing. That was the bigger issue to me. Like nobody seemed to care about that because, hey, we, we are entitled to our sports, right? So I admit like this already really got me upset because I'm so tired of constantly hearing how horrible white people are. and White people are so mean against, uh, against minorities and people of color and all this kind of stuff. Do you know how in the other parts of the world minorities are treated by other minorities or what, what constitutes minorities in the Western world? I was like, that is such bull crap. And I've had it out to here with that crap. Um, so then he writes back, wait a minute, did I say that Germans are racist? Where is the indignation about how brown people treat brown people? Did I take the name of any nation or race? Last week, my hairdresser in Stuttgart, who himself is a Kurdish refugee, made fun of my Indian accent and said he cannot understand what I am talking, take, what I am taking in my, maybe talking is what he meant, what I am talking in my Indian accent. You were the one who said white privilege. Meanwhile, most POCs are treated with more dignity and respect by Westerners than they are by other POCs, which Kurdish people are POCs. Yes, because white people are treated good everywhere. <sighs> Go to Pakistan and people will be so gentle with you. They will pay for you. They will make photos with you. How many white guys will take photos with me? Who are you to decide what is good and bad treatment? You, you say I can't say how life is for you, but you can speak for me for, or white people? Everyone effing hates white people. My student, my student from Portugal told me that she did not like Indian boys because they smell bad. Yes, on the surface they are kind, but they hate us. They are kind because they think we are rich. Uh, they see us as walking dollar bills, not because they like us. I have been treated horribly in many countries. Yes, I have been to India and they are kind till I say, no, I don't want to buy anything. And then they say, F you, go home, you piece of S. We don't want you here. And this, I'm sorry, like, this is one of those things where I feel like a lot of people, they haven't really liked what I've said in my gay travel guide videos because this is honest to God truth. This whole, like, idea that if you go as, as a white person, you're treated like a god and, uh, like, the red carpet is just thrown out for you everywhere you go is just complete crap. They do it because they associate whiteness with wealth. And to be fair, yes, I probably do possess more wealth than the average Indian person or the average person in Zimbabwe or the average person in Congo or the average person in Laos or Venezuela. I, I, I don't, you know, I won't deny that. Uh, doesn't change the fact that I always come back home to Germany where I'm not a rich person. I have also had to make sacrifices to live the life I do, you know, which is neither here or there. The point is I have been to so many countries. You guys, I've been to over a hundred countries at this point. And yeah, surface level. Yeah. I've had a lot of people come up and they're nice and hey, Abibi, come here, come into my shop. And then I'm like, no, I'm sorry. I'm not interested. F you, F you, you white capitalist big, bad, bad. We don't want you in this country. Go back to your country of homosexuals and whores and, and everybody is a piece of shit. Bad, bad. You don't have any real morals. You don't have anything. This is how they talk to you in a lot of places. When as a white person, you dare to not buy everything in their shop to not, you know, 
give them money. I mean, you know how many places I've been to where literally people have just come up to me and I even even attempted to sell me anything. Literally have come up to me and be like, give me money. And I'll be like, no. And they're like, F you, F you. This has happened to me. This has happened to me in Chile. I was in, in, in Chile, I was in Valparaiso in Chile and I was walking up these steps and these like three young men walk by and they're like, give me money, give me money. And I was like, you give me money. And then they literally were like, I will F you up. Bah, bah. Go back to your country, you stupid piece of S and blah, blah, blah. And so it, yeah, surface level, a lot of them are very kind to white people, but it's not because they legitimately like us. Uh, very many people, and this is of course not everyone, this is a generalization, but like a lot of them hate our guts. A lot of them hate our guts because we do have certain liberties that they don't do. We do have organization. We do live in more wealth overall, organizational kind of stuff, and they hate us for it. And if given the chance, they will be mean-spirited towards us for it. Um, so then he writes, White guy is standing next to me. Wait, no. Uh, I'm sorry. I am being checked on Stuttgart Hauptbahnhof many times a month if I am carrying drugs or not. And then I wrote, I'm sorry, this is a little bit convoluted because we're talking over each other. I hate, uh, wait, no, 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 where are we? Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, no, they don't think so. This is what British people have infiltrated in the whole third world, that white skin is the best. Still in Pakistan, people put whitening cream on face to get white. This is all what comes from Europe. This idea that all white people face no problems is a complete lie. So what? And all the white people in Europe try to get a tan because we've been taught to hate our pale skin. I hate going to the beach because I know everyone will make make fun of how pale I am. I am being checked on Stuttgart Hauptbahnhof many times a month if I am carrying drugs or not. White guy standing next to me, ne next to me, next, got, oh, never got checked, I think is what he meant to say. Why? I have gotten checked for drugs hundreds of times, especially traveling in Africa and Middle East. Yes, they want to get tan, but they don't want us. My roommate told me that you people eat a lot of curry. That's why you smell like curry. On airport, everyone gets checked. Not to mention the amount of times I've been stopped by police in those places and either been told to pay money or get kicked out or sexually assaulted. Not in front of my street or going to Rewe. Okay. I'm going to try to get through this without getting emotional. I don't know if I can because now this is where it kind of gets very personal and talking about things that the reason I didn't really up this, I didn't want to upload the third part because I'm really kind of opening myself up to some things. Uh, some not nice things that happened during my time living in Saudi and also just in general traveling in the Middle East. So he says that, you know, he's implying that it's racism and how horrible white people and white culture is because, you know, they, you know, check him more likely for drug smuggling or that he potentially is stealing and that that's proof of racism. So this is my counter. Have you been sexually assaulted or raped by a German? Want to know how often it has happened to me by the by Middle Easterners? More, um, oops. It's upward of a dozen. Why? Because Middle Easterners think all white men are little bitch bottoms. Grown men would come up to me and grab me between the legs and call me faggot, I fuck you. I had men try to pull me into their cars. I had several men. I had several men not take no for an answer. Um. A 
among them also Pakistanis. They don't do that to others of their race because they respect them as men, as fellow Muslims. I was a white whore to them. So don't tell me how cruel white people are and what privilege we live under. Sorry.